Hey guys, welcome to my first um, book review. Um, so over the last few weeks, I've been reading um, a book by Sheryl Sandberg called The Lin, uh, which I've got here. And um, I'm just going to share sort of my thoughts um, about this book. Um, so I'll start by saying, for those of you that um, don't know who Sheryl Sandberg is, um, she's actually the current Chief Operating Officer of Facebook um, at the time of this recording. So this is um, 2020 November uh, the 16th. Um, she's got uh, sort of a really interesting background. Um, she also worked um, at uh, Google um, in the when Google was in the sort of initial phases of growing really quick as a, as a, as a startup. Um, I think she worked for the U.S. Treasury Office, um, if I'm not mistaken. Um, or yeah, she did. I've got like Wikipedia open here just to remind myself. Um, she's also uh, um, worked for McKinsey, which is a uh, management uh, consulting firm uh, with a quite strong reputation um, globally. Um, so she's a, uh, you know, sort of a list of achievements there. So a very accomplished um, uh, person. So um, she, she wrote this book called Lean In, uh, which I've got here. And um, so I'll start by sort of saying that um, I really, really enjoy reading this book. So um, it's a really, really easy read. Um, you can kind of flick through it and um, it's uh, very uh, thought provoking is what I would say. Um, I mean, I was constantly whilst reading this book, I was thinking about all the different things um, that uh, she was uh, mentioning. And she references a lot of um, actually studies uh, to back up her points um, throughout. And I found a lot of those studies uh, were really uh, insightful. Um, she's like I mentioned, she's very, very well um, accomplished. And um, her writing style is really easy uh, to understand. Um, and uh, it was a really, really good uh, book. I, I genuinely really enjoyed reading this book. Um, so I actually ruined one copy. Um, I've got it there. I might show you in another video. Um, I, I just, yeah, it kind of has load, loads of water over it. And I bought one immediately after, another one immediately after, because um, I just want, yeah, I just wanted to sort of keep going through it. So uh, to, not to ramble too, too much, what's the book about? So it's about, um, basically it's about, um, well, it's a fem it's a feminism book. Um, I'll sort of, sort of start by saying that, and I think, based off you know what I've read about um about her in this book, I don't think she um she would actually uh sort of mind that characterization, um, and I mean that in a really really good way. Um, it's about um about women in the workplace. It's about women um not having the opportunity or not enough women having the opportunity or the encouragement to take up um really high level leadership roles in society and why that is a bad thing and why if we had more women um, at the top in a range of fields so this is not just business um, of course as I mentioned she is a C COO so a C level executive at Facebook um, but she's talking about all all levels um, of, of society all different industries if we had more women at the top if it was, if it was more equal why that would lead um, to a better society and more equal society for all of us and um, I think it's hot, you know, I, don't, I, I doubt anyone's really going to argue with that. But um, throughout the book, she um, explains why this would be the case uh, really well. And of course, this this sort of um, idea um, is it's actually um, quite a delicate idea in that um, there are a lot of um, people, not just women, men as well, that choose to be um, sort of house house people, housewives or house husbands that are working. Their, their job is essentially looking after children and doing all the housework. And she kind of tackles this in a very, uh, I, th I thought, very thoughtful and insightful way. Um, it's never the case that she's kind of saying, oh, everyone has to, you know, we, we, will, we all need, we just need women to, you know, be at the top and women have to be there. And all the women that don't make that choice are, are doing the wrong thing. It's not like that. Um, and she tackles this really, I thought, gracefully. Um, and really well and it's kind of throughout the book there are that that theme of um of choice of, of not being judgmental um was was really prevalent and um, throughout the book and i think whilst while she maintained that she'd done a, a very good job of arguing why um you know why why that isn't the case right now so why there aren't um, enough women at the top and um what we can do to to sort of tackle that and like I said, I was like throughout, I was constantly thinking and um, it was like it's really thought provoking. And um, it just um, it just taught me. I felt like I learned quite a lot. Um, and, you know, I, I, I'm probably going to reread re this at some point. 
but I already feel like there are there are things that I, I, I would like to take from this book and implement in my own sort of thinking and um, like I think it will change some of the ways that I approach different situations um, without going into sort of too much detail. Um, so yeah, that's that's a kind of um, overview of the book. I'll give you like one, like so for example, I'll start with just like saying one key insight. Um, so, so you have something to kind of go, if you, if you leave this video, then you've got something before you, if you decide to go and pick this book up. So one key insight would be that, um, actually equality, um, in terms of having women in positions of power, women in the workforce, um, is not just about what we do in the work situation. So it's not just about men encouraging women to apply for top roles, um, or men of uh, men and women offering mentorship to um, younger women that that have the potential to reach those top roles. Um, that's I think one 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 aspect of, of what she's arguing for. But I thought it was really what was really insightful was how she basically explained that it it's not just the work; it's what what you do at home as well. So to get true equality, w women need to have um, equal partners at home and at work. Um, and what that means is at home, like men. Um, that are, if you're in a heterosexual relationship, um, just because I don't want to sort of um, categorize everyone into one sort of thing. But if you're in a, yeah, so if you're if you're if you're a woman with a, a husband at home, um, your husband needs to do more to um, help. So like the, the, she kind of referenced um, some studies suggesting that the amount of work that women are doing outside of, of the home compared to like the 1970s has increased dramatically. So there were so much more women are actually in part time or full time work or in employed work, uh, which is clearly the case, um, at least in the in, in the United Kingdom. Um, but the amount of work that um, the proportion of work that women are doing at home has actually also increased or not changed at all. So what that what that means is that women are doing are contributing more financially to a family, but men are not contribute contributing in the home as much. And um, she argues really, really well why men have to like you have to be an equal partner and we have to sort of break the um, traditional views of, you know, men going out to work and women being at home. And um, yeah, I thought that was a really, really key insight. So if you want to learn more about that, then I'd, I'd recommend you pick up this book. So yeah, it's a seven minute, um, we're at eight minutes now. So I feel like I've rambled a little bit. I don't really want to, you know, just tell you everything that's in the book. I think you learn more by actually reading yourself. So uh, I hope that was interesting for you. So that's my first book review. Um, I really, really enjoyed this book. So I would recommend uh, that you pick it up um, if you're interested in that sort of thing. Um, it's, it's honestly, I feel like it's really for everyone. Um, I don't even know why I'm saying if you're interested in that. It's not like a, it's not really a feminism, feminism book. Um, I think everyone can learn something from this. And like I said, it was, um, I was really, you know, I was thinking a lot throughout about all the different revelations and all the studies that she pointed. Um, and there are some really, really interesting insights in this book. So I would recommend that you pick it up. Um, so that's all for today. So I hope you enjoyed this review. Um, I may leave, I, I tend to make notes um, on my phone whilst I'm reading, so I may leave those uh, quick notes in the comments, um, in the, no, the description box. So if you want to check that out. But yeah, cool. All right. Thank you guys for watching and um, have a good day. Bye.